That tower just came down. Let's go to Bob Bazell, who is at St. Vincent's Hospital. Bob, what's going on there? What can you tell us? Uh, Katie, St. Vincent's Hospital is one of the hospitals. Folks, do you realize something has happened here that we all agree with the Taliban and Iran? We've had them a million times. Our economy doesn't need the boost of the Olympics. Hold it right there. Crystal must have been uh, living underneath a rock for the past year. Our economy is not in good shape. We need work, right? Okay, the Olympic Games would have brought $22 billion of economic activity and a minimum, a minimum of 315,000 jobs, full-time jobs. Well, but wait a minute, that, that would have made Obama look good. All the other candidates, by the way, sent their leaders to Copenhagen too. Even the winners had their leader there. The GOP's joy in the failure of Chicago's Olympic bid is flat out anti-American. Rooting against the Olympics proves that these guys are more interested in taking down the president than seeing their country succeed. We absolutely need a boost like the Olympics. Folks, do you realize something has happened here that we all agree with the Taliban and Iran. Folks, do you realize something has happened here that we all agree with the Taliban and Iran? I mean, one of the reasons these techniques have survived for about 500 years is apparently they work. And I, 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 I you know, I, 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 I gave him peace of my mind. I, to, I, I told him to his face I didn't want his policies to work. And I, 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 I you know, I, 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 I gave him peace of my mind. I, to, I, I told him to his face I didn't want his policies to work. And that they won't see the error of their ways? No, sir, they will not. not, not the only chance we have as a country right now is for Osama bin Laden to, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. And that they won't see the error of their ways? No, sir, they will not. not. Not the only chance we have as a country right now is for Osama bin Laden to de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. Folks, do you realize something has happened here that we all agree with the Taliban and Iran? Folks, do you realize something has happened here? that we all agree with the Taliban and Iran. An increasing number of Republican leaders seem to be trying to compensate for their relative lack of power at home by flexing their muscles abroad. Republicans have been traveling to other countries to try to undermine the policies of the United States. You might call it anti-diplomacy. We first reported this phenomenon in June when Illinois Republican Congressman Mark Kirk bragged that on a trip to China, he had met with Chinese government officials and told them to not trust the American government on matters of the budget and the deficit. 
one of the messages I had because we need to build trust and confidence and our number one creditor is that the budget numbers that the U.S. government have put forward should not be believed. Don't believe the U.S. government, China. Congressman Mark Kirk's great idea for building trust and confidence is to tell China to definitely not trust us. That a little over two weeks ago, Republican Senator Jim Inhofe of Oklahoma made an announcement. He said that he was going to go rogue overseas himself. He says that he plans on attending the UN Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen this December. Uh, and it's because he thinks that global warming is a hoax. I'm going to go ahead and just announce now I'm going to go to Copenhagen. I think somebody has to uh, be there, a one-man one truth squad. Senator Inhofe says the mission of his little one-man truth squad will be to tell other countries not to believe what the United States says when our government negotiates on climate change and carbon emissions. And you know, when it was just Mark Kirk going to China to tell the Chinese not to trust us, that was weird. Then when it turned out to be Mark Kirk plus Jim Inhofe, when it happened twice, sort of seemed like it might be a coincidence. But when something like this happens three times, I think it's called a trend, which makes Republican Senator Jim DeMint of South Carolina officially the trend maker. Senator DeMint is now back from meeting with the de facto government of Honduras. It's a government that the United States does not recognize. Mr. DeMint called the meeting with the military government that ousted their president there, quote, very productive, adding, we saw a government working hard to follow the rule of law, uphold its constitution, and to protect democracy for the people of Honduras. Senator DeMint is referring to a government that ushered its country's democratically elected president out of the country in his pajamas. A government that until today allowed police and soldiers to break up public meetings, arrest people without warrants, and restrict the news media. Then today, remarkably, three more Republican members of Congress went to Honduras and visited with this government that we as a country supposedly do not recognize, thereby jumping on the go abroad to undermine American foreign policy, even though you're an American bandwagon. This creepy, creepy bandwagon. Last week, I held up this report here and I pointed out that in America, there's 44,789 Americans who die every year, according to this Harvard report published in a peer-reviewed journal, because they have no health insurance. That's an extra 44,789 Americans who die, whose lives could be saved. And their response was to ask me for an apology. To ask me for an apology. That's right, to ask me for an apology. Well, I'm telling you this, I will not apologize. I will not apologize. I will not apologize for a simple reason. America doesn't care about your feelings. I violated no rules by pulling this report to America's attention. I think a lot of people didn't know about it beforehand. But America does care about health care in America. And if you're against it, then get out of the way. Just get out of the way. You can lead, you can follow, or you can get out of the way. And I'm telling you now to get out of the way. America understands that there's one party in this country that's in favor of health care reform and one party that's against it, and they know why. They understand that if Barack Obama were somehow able to cure hunger in the world, the Republicans would blame him for overpopulation. They understand that if Barack Obama could somehow bring about world peace, they'd blame him for destroying the defense industry. In fact, they understand that if Barack Obama has a BLT sandwich tomorrow for lunch, they will try to ban bacon. But that's not what America wants. America wants solutions to its problems, and that begins with health care. And that's what I'm speaking for tonight. I yield the rest of my time. Dictionary of the Law 1983 defines treason as a citizen's actions to help the foreign government overthrow make war against, or seriously injure the parent nation.
It is also often considered treason to attempt or conspire to overthrow the government, even if no foreign country is aided or involved by such an endeavor. Folks, do you realize something has happened here that we all agree with the Taliban and Iran? What else do I want? Money.